In this lesson, we will be learning our first chord, which is called D. Here at Chat Success, we have created easy to read chord diagrams. Each chord diagram includes many useful features. We include the names of all the strings, which fingers to use, as well as which frets to place them in. We have placed the letter X over any strings which you should not play, and the letter O for any open strings. To play the chord D, we place our first finger in the second fret on the fourth string, which is the G string. Then we place our third finger in the third fret on the fifth string, which is the B string. And finally, we place our second finger in the second fret on the sixth string, which is the high E string. Now we will learn which strings to strum when playing the chord. D. When playing the chord D, try not to strum the first and second strings, which are the E and A strings. You can see the letter X above the E and A strings, indicating that we should not play these two strings. And you can also see the letter O above the D string, indicating that we should play this string as an open string and not place any fingers on that string. So the only strings that you should strum are the bottom four strings, which are D, G, B and high E. So let's try to play the chord D together and we will strum down once and up once. And we will start after four. One, two, three, four. D, D. And one more time together after four. One, two, three, four. D, D. Here are two tips to help your fingering on the guitar. First of all, whenever you're placing a finger in any one of the frets, try to avoid touching the metal parts. A second helpful tip is to try to ensure that you keep your fingers standing up straight and not flat across the strings. You should be able to see your knuckles sticking out when your fingers are standing up correctly. This is to make sure that you don't touch the other strings. 